I'm making spinach manicotti tonight with a creamy tomato sauce on top. I use lasagna noodles for my manicotti. Always had trouble with the manicotti tubes splitting. So um, a friend of mine suggested using lasagna noodles. I will show you how later in the video. But I'm gonna prepare the lasagna and um, to al dente. Rinse it in cold water, drain the water off, and let those cool. Set it aside while I prepare the filling for the manicotti. So I'm using one pound of ricotta cheese, one cup of mozzarella cheese, and a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Also add one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'll add a half teaspoon of basil. I wanted fresh basil, but all I had was the dried, so went with that. I added two eggs, and I'm just gonna give that a good stir until it's all mixed together nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my spinach ready after that's all mixed. I'm going to set this aside and chop my spinach. You may like it chopped more finely. Um, once you get it incorporated into your cheese and it's baked, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. But I, I chop enough spinach to have about two cups of spinach to add to my cheese mixture. I'm gonna give that a good stir until everything's incorporated and the spinach is mixed throughout your cheese. Then I'm gonna set that aside and get my noodles ready. I'm gonna lay them out on top of each other and then I'm going to cut them in half right down the middle Then I'll put them back into the pan and then I'll start rolling up my manicotti just heaping tablespoons full into each half of lasagna noodle and roll that up placing it in the pan I might mention that I do grease or spray actually the bottom of my baking dish so nothing sticks. So I'm gonna get it, all of those rolled up, use all my cheese until my pan is full. I wanna say too, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far into my video, I really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. I'll get all these finished up and then I'm gonna mix my creamy tomato sauce. And I shortcut here, I use jar sauces. I use about a cup of tomato sauce, any, any kind you like, any kind of spaghetti sauce. And then about a half a cup of prepared Alfredo sauce and mix that together. And then I'm gonna pour that over the top, making sure that you have all of the pasta covered. If you have to add um, more sauce, and it just makes you up a little bit more. It's really not a, a, if you like it creamier, then you can add more of the Alfredo. If you don't like the Alfredo at all, you don't have to use it. Just use the tomato sauce. Then you're going to top it off with, it's about two cups of mozzarella. I didn't measure. You can just add however much you want. You're going to pop that in the oven, 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's all bubbly and the cheese is melted and starting to turn brown. You're gonna dip that out and you have a nice little dinner here. Really doesn't take that long to prepare.